Michael's pain has the most vivid and, and, and clear chroma of any paints I've used. He, he's an artist himself, so he, I, and I, I got that after speaking with him at one of the conferences, and he explained to me about what, how he arrived at making paints. And I really appreciated it because he loves color. And he'll, you know, you, you find more ranges of color than anybody that, that makes paint. So what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm, when I take one of his colors and I mix it, there's the brilliance. There's, the brilliance is the right word that tends to stay. And, uh, um, so, and also the consistency is beautiful. It's always consistent. It's always, you don't feel like some were too oily or some, some were too thick. They were, they're always wonderful out of the tubes. Now, it's not possible for me to find one. It's the same as a favorite, what's your favorite sunlight? Yeah, no, I, I t you know, it's, it's a strange color, but cadmium, cadmium orange is one that I keep, I mix with everything, and maybe it just habit. Michael has introduced me to a number of, of colors, like king's blue light, uh, Indian red yellow okay. shade, which is, I've always used yellow ochre all of my life. And then this beautiful transparent thing. And, and he showed me how he mixes with, with Crimson Lake. And it makes this, in, this otherworldly red brown thing that is just so beautiful. So, so of course I, I play with that. And actually just using his colors alone has, has made me explore color a little bit deeper. Because I never would have thought to use these colors. And they're beautiful, you know, so. I asked for a number of colors and he sent it to me. And one was the phthalo green lake. And then the other one's gr phthalo green yellow shade. And it's a... It is a monster of a color, and you take, I find that with those, and when I mix it with my cadmium yellows and yellow ochres, all the lighter, at that point, they become like the, um, the binder, you know, you, you take a chunk of that, and you drop a little bit of this in there, and the colors, I, I feel like I can mix any other greens I need to, all the grays, by adding the complementary into it, so, that color is pretty versatile, but you have to be, you got to treat it like a wild animal because, okay. you, you know, you, you can't just <laughs> pile it on. It'll eat up New York, <laughs> it'll eat up everything. <laughs> so you use it to enhance other colors and you mix the colors you want, so, you know, yeah, but very sparingly. Mm -hmm.